Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Last time, in a shocking turn of events, we beat Lieutenant Surge and got the Thunder Badge. Which reminds me, do you know what kind of car Surge drives? A Volkswagen. No? Alright, well, do you know what his favorite type of drink is? A chocolate milkshake. Alright, alright. Before we set out for Celadon City to challenge Erica, I just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to The Gamer and give the video a like. It'll help us know whether or not you're enjoying this kind of content so we can bring you more of it. Okay, okay, just, just one more, alright? Where did Lieutenant Surge get his uniform from? The outlet store! Okay, so- oh hey look, it's Misty! Oh, it's you again. Ooh, wow, you beat Lieutenant Surge. You must be pretty good. Uh, glad to see you're really learning a thing or two, and your Pokémon must have tried their best. Well, I mean, they did- oh, well, thank you. I mean, the Pokémon Center is like 10 feet away, but yeah, thanks. Oh, me? I'm going swimming in the sea. This is actually really cool. They, they've they got Misty here. Uh, like, it's it's not quite like the anime, but I mean, she's she's got a bigger part in the game. That, that's, that's cool. I like it rather than just her being a gym leader. Uh, there are times when you just want to break free from a puny little pool and swim in the big blue. That's fair. Where are you headed next? Have you been to Diglett's Cave? It's pretty close by. Oh, I actually have not been there. If you haven't been, I could show you the way. Want a guide? Yeah, sure, why not? I think it's just to the east of me, yeah, where she's pointing. Oh, you know what? There's actually, there's a route here to the right, to the east here of, uh, of Vermilion City, and, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna skip it. It's not really like pertinent to what we're doing here, but there are a number of train- Ooh, there's a Mr. Mime. You know, I might go ahead and catch this Mr. Mime. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding. Uh, whatever. Anyway, okay, the point was, if you've seen the Mr. Mime in the Detective Pikachu movie, I don't want to drowsy either. If you've seen the, the, the Mr. Mime in the Detective Pikachu movie, it's just, it's just so creepy. I don't like it. Anyway, so here's Diglett's cave, um, and uh, let's. Uh, I'm just trying to move on from that real failure of a uh, of a capture of Mr. Mime there. Uh, yeah, so it's just a very straightforward area. There's no trainers or any anything in here. I think there are no items. I haven't really checked uh, every single uh, square foot of here, and I, I will. I refuse to to look at Pikachu's tail to see if uh, if there's actually an item. But uh, anyway, here we are. And this, uh, Diglett's, Diglett's Cave, or Diglett's Tunnel, whatever, uh, brings us just next to Pewter City. And since we know how to cut bushes down, we could revisit Pewter City, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to head south over here. There's, uh, oh, that's one of Prof Oak's aides. Justin, remember me? I'm one of Prof Oak's assistants. That's right. Uh, I'm so glad I ran into you. Why don't I show you a neat trick? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, actually, no, it's a little too bright. Uh, oh, he's going to teach us Flash, isn't he? Okay. Inside, I'll be waiting to show you, uh, whenever you're ready, Justin. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm pretty ready now, although, I do see a bush with Pikachu's name on it. Yeah, I want to chop it down. Let's see what's down here. Uh, there probably is a couple of items. I doubt there's any trainers or anything. I think there used to be a... What the? What's this? Where am I? <laughs> I know what CP stands for. Oh, I don't care about what that kid has to say. What's over? Oh, is this? Oh, this is the the place next to Viridian, isn't it? There, I think this is in the original game too. Uh, I believe there's a little house here, uh, just south. And I, I I feel like in the original one there was an old woman who used to like uh, heal your Pokemon. Oh, I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> All right. Uh, actually, it might be the house uh, that's that that the assistant went into. To be completely honest, because I think. You used to learn Flash by going east of Vermilion City, and then and uh, where the uh, the Snorlax was, and going upstairs to see him there. Back in the days when you used to have to catch a certain amount of Pokemon to be able to warrant getting like an item finder or or, or Flash or some other stuff that you get throughout the game, I can't quite remember anything off the top of my head. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, let's see here. All right, so let's see what you got here. Assistant, so you came. Then let's get down to brass tacks. I got something good to show you, believe it or not. I've mastered the secret technique, light up. Okay, so they've they've completely changed all of the HM names, which is all right. I'm all right with that. It, it, I mean, it makes a little, a little bit more sense, I guess. Now let me turn off all the lights. Okay. 
Okay. All right. All right. See, it seems bright even with the lights off. So the lights are off right now? <laughs> I disagree. My keen focus spreads to those around me, you see. That's weird, but all right. Here, I can teach you how to do it too. Oh, of course, Pikachu wants to learn it too. Uh, I will never get a chance to learn any of these techniques, which means I am fully dependent on Pikachu. Uh, I see. Professor Oak had mentioned it, but it really does seem like your Pikachu is special. Yes, it is. It is indeed. Uh, let me try to teach it here. Let me turn off the lights again. Okay. Sure, why not? A Pikachu, follow what I do. Calm your heart, breathe deeply, and sense your surroundings. I assume that that was Pikachu. Yep, all right. <laughs> okay, well, at least Pikachu got a chance to demonstrate this time instead of, like, uh, when, when we learned uh, Chop Down, right? Instead of just... It just... Did it. <laughs> Uh, since they're not moves, you can use them even if your Pokemon doesn't have the energy to battle. Right, okay, that's fair. All right, well, let's get out of here then. And uh, we'll uh, we'll move on, shall we? Oh, hey, there's uh, Steven. <laughs> oh, Justin, did you learn how to use Light Up from Professor Oak's assistant too? Where were you? How did you learn how to do this? Well, you didn't learn it, but Pikachu did? Yeah, I did. Uh, and yes, she is. Hey, you know what? I actually know some place where you might be able to use it. I must be talking about Rock Tunnel. Want me to take you there? Oh, man, yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, let's go together. That's fine. Uh, okay, so we're back in Cerulean City now, and uh, Rock Tunnel is to the east of there. Just past, as you can see, to the uh, top uh, left of the screen, that's where the uh, the Team Rocket members burst out of that person's house where we where we got the TM-10 for Dig, I think. Uh, so let's just head east from Cerulean City. That's this direction. Got it? Yes, I, I know... Uh, well, I, yeah, all right, I got gotcha. you. Uh, just keep going this way, and you'll eventually hit the cave system called the Rock Tunnel. I hear it's pitch dark. Yeah, I'll bet it is. Uh, if you use light up, though, you won't be scared of the dark. See you around. Yeah, all right. What, is he going to, like, hop the fence or something? Oh, no, he knows how to do chop down. All right, fine. Uh, yes, I want to use the secret technique, chop down. Boom, okay. So this is uh, another standard area. It's It really is very straightforward. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go and fight these guys, get some much needed experience since I skipped that other area. And uh, I'll see you guys on the other side, shall we? Uh, closer to uh, to Rock Tunnel. So, uh, all right. Well, uh, I'll, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, and we are here in Route 10. Uh, this is actually the place where when you learn how to surf, you come along this area here and eventually it'll take you to the power plant where you can go and catch Zapdos. Uh, I just want to see if the, yep, there's a uh, hidden item right here. Oh, a super lure. That's cool. Those uh, last a little bit longer than regular lures, but that's about all they do. So anyway, we're just going to head over here. I'm going to I'm gonna heal up. At, oh, a uh, Team Rocket member. Well, hey, you're the kid that's been getting in our way all the time. Uh-oh. Uh, my reputation, but whoa, whoa, what is this? What is this? It's because of you that Team Rocket's reputation was totally smashed. We'll never be able to face the boss at this rate, which means we'll have to take our revenge on you? What do you mean? I'm a ten-year-old kid. No, no, no. Hey, guys, can we talk about this? Oh, <laughs> hold it. Huh? Ooh, a lapper. Oh, I know who this is. This is Lorelei. She's one of the Elite Four. I think she's the uh, the first one, actually. Gang up on a child. I absolutely can't forgive that. Who are you, lady? We'll gang up and take you on, too. I'll handle these three. All right. <laughs> Could you take that one for me? Yeah, sure. I, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, sure. Good answer. Now then, let's go. <laughs> this guy looks like he has no idea what's happening. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. They just told me to come along. Okay, let's see. What uh, what are you going to pull out? A Zubat? Oh, a Raticate. Ooh, wow. Way to break the mold, Team Rocket Grunt. <sighs> okay, uh, Double Kick should do it. It's a normal type, so that'll do. Oh, I might need an extra attack. That's fine. I can finish it off probably with a quick attack. Ow. Oh, that's it. I think Crunch is a dark type move, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> There we go. And done. And <laughs> I'm sure somehow in the exact same amount of time as it takes for me to beat one Raticate, Lorelei has beaten three Team Rocket members, who potentially may have had three uh, 
Zubats. <laughs> no, I don't want to learn Whirlwind. It's useless. That's not useless. It's just kind of, it's kind of worthless to me. Like I don't like, I don't like uh, forcing Pokemon out. Like like, like those uh, those other moves, like Dragon Tail and uh, oh, what was that Electric type move? Whatever. I, I think it was in uh, the second generation, um, where when you hit hit a Pokemon with it, it'll uh, it'll force the net Volt tackle Volt tackle. I think that's what it was. Anyway, geez, kids, how a kid? How strong are you? All right, bye. Even three of us rushing you wasn't enough? Those incredible, incredibly powerful ice-type Pokemon. Yeah, somehow I doubt that. Who are you? I'm Lorelei of the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Told ya. Shall I freeze you all solid too? Whoa, you can't, you can't threaten to do something like that. This is the Pokemon world. You, 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 you solve things with Pokemon battles. You're a pretty talented trainer. It was plain to see during your battle. So she fought off three dudes. Uh, three Poke, uh, sorry, Team Rocket grunts. Uh, potentially up to six Pokemon, because they do sometimes have two, and noticed how I was doing in my battle. <laughs> All in the same amount of time it took me to beat one Team Rocket Grunt. That's good. That's real good. Uh, right, uh, play to see during battle. I see, so you're collecting gym- I'm still wearing the sailor outfit. I should probably change that. <laughs> uh, yes, I am collecting them. I look forward to when you come to challenge the Pokemon lead. Yeah, me too. Until then, see ya. Where are you going? Is she going through Rock Tunnel? Is she going to hang out at the Pokemon Center or something? I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center. Let's see. Let's heal up. Rock Tunnel is pretty long. And uh, I, we're not really going to skip too much. We might skip a couple of the trainer battles in there. But it, we're, it's, a, it's a big dungeon, honestly. So we'll, we'll probably keep most of it in. It's not quite a, um, a maze or anything. Nothing, nothing, not at all close to that. But yeah, see, look, Rock Tunnel's a tough place. Uh, although, I, I guess every character in this world would think that. <laughs> Alright, let's beat this coach. What does she have? What kind of Pokemon is it? Oh, Pokemon plural. Oh, Poliwhirl, that's easy. I can deal with that. Oh, um, I, another thing that I learned about this game... Actually, um, uh, in the last episode, I uh, I was in a battle, and uh, the uh, the waggier waggier like Joy-Con thing showed up over the fight icon in, in, in the middle of a battle, and um, it turns out that you can actually use those moves throughout the game, and if you have a different Pokemon out, your Pikachu can actually support them by raising all of their stats if you have that icon up uh, available for you, which is awesome. That's so cool. But the thing is. You can't do that in handheld mode, which blows my mind. Surely they would have thought of something, you know, like maybe, maybe like hit, hit the icon or something, but no, not even. You're just, it's, it's, it's purely and, and exclusively for docked mode, which is kind of like the, um, um, the thing that I, I lost uh, my train of thought on. <laughs> Oh, the uh, the technique bonus for when you're when you're catching Pokemon. You can only get that when you're in docked mode. So, it, yeah, like it makes sense. I understand. Wow, Pikachu toughed it out. Uh, does that mean that I saved one health? Oh my God, that's a thing you can do that. Okay, that's kind of cool. Man, they really did a lot of things to make this game easy. I'm not really complaining. I mean, it, it's kind of nice to be able to just enjoy the game like in a relaxing way. You know, it's not quite like it was 20 years ago. I, I, we, I, we were kids back then, or I certainly was a kid back then. And, you know, it, I had all the time in the world. I used to take my Game Boy with me everywhere, all the time, everywhere. And it wasn't one of those backlit ones. I didn't have, I didn't have a, a Game Boy Color at the time. I'm talking the OG Game Boy, the brick, the gray brick. And I used to take it, I used to take it on, on car rides with my parents all the time. And, you know, it, it was just one of those situations where you just, you can't see anything in the car because it wasn't backlit. But I played it. I, I used those street lamps to, to guide the way. And I would wait inside. I, let me tell you, Rock Tunnel was hard when it was, when it was like that. Uh, but, uh, oh yeah, we'll use light up. But, uh, like, nowadays, I mean, there's, there's tons of stuff going on in our lives, you know? Like, it's hard to put aside the time... To, to play a game just non-stop like we used to do. So it's really nice to be able to just 
kind of sit here for a couple of hours, make a little bit of headway, and then put it down for the night, do the rest of your stuff, and then go on about your business the next day. Or, or, or whoa, that, oh my god, that thing is huge. Okay, well, I mean, we'll go ahead and catch that, right? Rhyhorn! <laughs> I think this is one of the rarer spawns inside of this place. I think the rarest, though, is a Kangaskhan, believe it or not. Okay, uh, that's enough of that. Oh my god. Every time. It scares me every time. What's over here? Well, that's probably an item here, isn't there? Haha, <laughs> an item! Oh, a pearl. Sweet. That's uh, 4,000 Poke Buckaroos. I'm sorry. I apologize for that one. Whoa. That was a close dodge. All right. And that was uh, uh, rock, rock Tunnel. Rock Tunnel. That's what it was. I'll just skip that guy there. Move on. gone. Uh, and definitely skip that guy. I think I've, I'm sick and tired of seeing his face. All right. Here we are in Lavender Town. Let's uh, Let's lower that music, shall we? Oh, Cubone. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know the story of this Cubone. Oh, Steven. What are you doing there? Wow, this place really likes their purple, don't they? Man. Let's go heal up. And then we'll brave the Pokemon Tower. Ooh, Diglett. Uh, I did catch a Diglett, didn't I? Yeah, all right. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll get Surfer Doug Trio eventually. Why not? <laughs> I never like this, the Alolan form of Diglett. It's so strange. Oh, 90s. This just looks like it's ripped straight from Digimon. I never understand. <laughs> look at those three little tufts of hair. It's so strange. Oh, look at it. It's so weird looking. So here we are in Pokemon Tower. Uh, things are creepy here. You there, if you wish to know the truth behind the wandering spirits haunting this tower, well, even we channelers couldn't identify them. But maybe with the right tool, like a silvscope? Yeah, a silvscope might let one see the truth behind this mystery. Alright, that's cool, I guess. Uh, okay, well, I guess we'll go ahead and talk to Steven here. Hey, buddy. Hey, <laughs> Steven. If it isn't Justin. But what are you doing here? No way. Justin, your Pokemon did, didn't did die or anything, right? You know, it's nice of you to care, Steven, but nope. Oh boy, I'm glad I was wrong this time, but maybe I should check that your Pokemon are, really are doing well with a battle. Ooh. There we go. All right. And you are done, Steven. Oh, I'm never going to get over that. Ooh, Kadabra leveled up. What does he got? Three health now? War Turtle, nice. Level 25. I can't wait to get a Blastoise. Maybe your Pokemon are doing a little too well. Yeah, maybe. Maybe if you uh, started carrying more Pokemon, this wouldn't be an issue. Ah, oh, shoot. When we battled, we scared off that Cubone. You say that, but I didn't see the Cubone before. Uh, yes, I know Cubone. I actually have a Cubone. Uh, that Cubone looked like it was searching for something. Maybe it's up on the higher floors? Well, that's a... Oh. What does was, was Pikachu have to say here? Ooh, happy, happy to have... Uh, bought or played with. All right, I guess they they consider playing. You're a good little girl, are you? Yes, you are. All right, that'll do. <laughs> that should be enough to get a get a helping hand next time. I think. Oh, Cubone, Cubone, come out, come out, wherever you are. Huh. I don't see any sign of it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, oh no. That What could it be? It's it's a it's a g g g g g g g ghost <laughs> Oh that was the most Scooby Doo moment I've ever seen. That was so good. Oh, that was real good. Thank you, Bone. <laughs> oh, man, that was really funny. <clears throat> oh, oh, poor little guy. 
Okay, well, so we could continue on in here, but we're not going to. I'm just gonna uh, play with Pikachu. Oh, Pikachu's scared. Uh, it's okay, Pikachu. Everything is fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, but uh, from here, uh, the, the oh, ghosts will chase you, right? I don't, uh, I don't want to find out what happens when one touches you, actually. Uh, so we're just gonna we're gonna head back now because uh, you don't actually have to continue up that place until you get like that lady who was just above me there uh, mentioned the sylph scope. So then then you'll be able to see the ghost Pokemon for for what they are and be able to progress through there and. Um, uh, well, I guess we'll get to that plot point when we get there, but uh, uh, the man in this house that I just passed by uh, is, has been kidnapped, as uh, Team Rocket will say, I think. Uh, we came all the way to Lavender Town on the boss's orders, but where in the world is... Yeah, old man Fuji. <laughs> so Mr. Fuji is, uh, is uh, most likely being held captive at the top of Pokemon Tower, but we can't get there without the Sylph Scope. But what we can do now is go to Celadon City and challenge uh, Erica. So we're going to go and do that. And then we'll probably call it after that. The only place left is that spooky old Pokemon Tower, right? That's right. We couldn't get to the top of it because of that strange ghost getting in the way. You know, it's strange that they would just be like, yeah, you know, you remember that ghost? Just like, like nothing. And well, we couldn't find that old man, but at least we found this Cubone. Uh, let's get it back to the hideout. At least we'll have something. To... What hideout are you talking about? Oh, we're heading to... Oh, yeah. All right. Celadon City. So it makes more sense there. So I guess we'll be seeing a lot more Team Rocket in this game, which is awesome. I'm really, really happy to see that. Oh, does a little Cubone want its mommy? Your mommy's in Celadon. Oh, that's super, super depressing and really mean, Jesse. Oh, all right. Well, I guess I'll go after them. I just saw something off. Take your word for it, buddy. Did I, uh, am I good? Did I have, yeah, I'm good. All right, so I'm going to head out here. Uh, this, again, is a very straightforward route. Uh, I'm going to challenge some of the trainers here, as usual, and uh, we'll, we'll skip it. Uh, again, uh, this this path here, it's pretty much it's pretty much a straight shot. So I'll fight these guys, and then uh, I'll, I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, so that's it. We fought everybody except for this guy. He's kind of irrelevant. Uh, this is the tunnel that goes from Lavender to Celadon. So this is where we want to go. Uh, it's another underground. What does this guy have to say? Uh, here, there's been a sleeping Pokemon causing trouble out near Celadon? That's weird. A sleeping Pokemon near Celadon? The, the only one that I can think of is the Snorlax near... Near... Uh, uh, oh my god. Uh, Vermilion and Lavender. That's weird. What's this? X accuracy. You know, just like the other place, the other, um, the north-south place from Cerulean to Underground Path, sorry. From Cerulean to Vermilion City, you'll find a couple of items in here. There's really not a whole lot else, unfortunately, but, you know, that's, that's okay. It could be worse. <laughs> here we are. It probably has nothing important to say. <laughs> And here we are, Route 7, which uh, will... Oh, dang. All right, we'll fight her. How many gym badges do you have? Well, you can't go around asking things like that, Karen. Man, if her name is Karen, I swear to God. Ah, Yvette, of course. How could I have ever not seen the name Yvette? Yvette coming. I don't understand it. I don't have to start using some candy. Uh, that leads to Saffron City. It's irrelevant to us. Uh, I have no desire to go and fight another coach. I just want to heal my Pokemon and uh, challenge Erica. Although, actually, I should probably go to the store. Uh, might need to stock up on some stuff. Yeah, okay, so this guy wants to trade uh, Santru for a Santru, but his is the Alolan version, which is awesome. I'll just trade this one. Uh... <laughs> level three because you know i'm a fan of giving people bad deals <laughs> and that is an alolan uh Sandra. cool hey i didn't expect to run into you here interesting so misty and brock both have higher uh, more um presence in this game awesome that's really good that's really good uh, i'm on my way back from visiting the celadon city gym keeping in touch with other gym leaders is part of our duties after all that's cool 
The girls at that gym all turned me away <laughs> for some reason, though. Ah, good old Brock. Actually, have some pewter, pewter crunchies. I thought I'd bring, uh, bring, I brought them as a gift to the gym here. Wow, I'm sorry about that. Uh, pewter crunchies, cool. Um, uh, oh, and you're probably going to want some tea after eating them. Interesting. Oh, oh, you can give the tea to the, uh, to the, to the guards who are blocking access to Saffron City. Oh, there you go. He's talking about the guard. There you go. That's a hint. That's a hint. Anyway, so from there, that means we'll be, from at this point here, we could probably go, uh, and get the Sylph Scope from, uh, oh yeah, it's a department store here. We could probably go and get the Sylph Scope from, um, from Saffron and then head over to Lavender, but we're just going to do this instead. Uh, all right, let's see. What is there? Department store. Oh, I just got a great idea. I think. Let me just check and see what they've got. I think. Service counter, trainer's market, video game shop, wise man gifts, accessory market, and relaxation space, space and vending machines. I think it's time for a shopping spree. Let's do this! It's a Nintendo Switch, I need it! <laughs> uh, it's cute. Alright, alright. I don't feel so bad anymore. Uh, I, I know, I actually do kind of feel bad. I, there were a lot of things in there that I really wanted, including that Nintendo Switch. We're running a little short on time here, so I'm just going to take on the gym, and then the next time... We'll actually explore a little bit more about uh, in, in Celadon because honestly, there's there's actually quite a bit of stuff here. Oh, it's so flowery. Oh, so you want to challenge? Oh, where's the dude? Uh, you want to challenge Erica, the gym leader? I'll have you know we only let tra trainers with cute Pokemon enter the gym. Well, luckily for you, this little guy on my shoulder here is extremely cute. Yeah, it's cute, super cute. Can I can I pet it just a bit, please? Okay, sure, sure I guess. <laughs> Okay, that means I can take on the gym now. All right, I gotta be honest with you here. I'm, uh, I, I realize I said that, uh, I don't know why people skip, uh, fights, but I, I'm just, I'm just not in the mood for it. I'll make up for it. I promise you, I will make up for it, uh, behind the scenes. I will go, <laughs> that diggly cap, that's so good. Uh, I will make up for it behind the scenes, I promise. Uh, just until then, uh, I'm gonna skip as many of these as I can here. Okay, here's Erica. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make sure here that uh, I guess I'll start it off with my Charmeleon, and then uh, we'll work our way through there. Uh, from there, sorry. So let's uh, let's see what Erica has to say. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Is she? Did she fall asleep? Oh dear, I must have dozed. Up. You know that's narcolepsy. <laughs> you might want to get that checked out. <laughs> Welcome, my name is Erica. I'm the gym leader of the Celadon City Gym. I'm a student of the art of flower arranging. Yeah, I can tell. My Pokemon are all of the grass type. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, did you perhaps wish to challenge me? Very well, but I shall not lose. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, challenged by... I, but I challenged her. <laughs> Whatever. Tangela. And hopefully we'll take we'll make uh, short work this uh, tango. Oh, that's a pretty big level discrepancy. I should probably have actually uh, you know done some some more leveling. <laughs> that's okay. I'll I, I I will I will do it behind the scenes like I said. So it'll be fine. Uh, okay. I really. Oh, actually, Dragon Rage might do more damage. Is there a guarantee? Yep. Looks like it. Uh, what move did I? Oh yeah, I, I taught my Charmeleon headbutt uh, just earlier in one of his skips. Oh, I'll use that. Maybe maybe this will do like a decent amount of damage. It's a pretty strong move. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Dragon Rage again. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Yes. Okay, good. Awesome. Uh, what's next? What, is, what else does she have? I know, I think her final Pokemon is a Vileplume. Oh, and a Weeping Bell, I see. 
Uh, we'll keep Charmeleon out for now. It's very likely that he'll... Wow, sorry about that. It's very likely that he'll go down, but still. Uh, we'll also use a Dragon Rage here, but it's probably... Oh, okay. Wow, my Charmeleon is pretty fast. Finally. Ow. That... That hurt. <laughs> okay, so we'll try... Uh, Growlithe. I still have another fire type. Uh, it's, again, a huge level disparity here. Uh, discrepancy. Disparity. Discre difference. But, uh... <laughs> but, uh, we'll just, uh... We'll, we'll, we'll do what we can here. Name thrower. Ooh, that's gonna hurt again. Oh, man! A one-hit KO. That's harsh. Ouch. Alright. Try again with... Pidgeotto, why not? I definitely can't bring my War Turtle out here. And my Kadabra. You know, I, I, Poison is one of the moves that I just, or uh, the types, sorry, that I just never remember what they're weak against. Oh, that Poison Jab is real annoying. No, oh, that's okay then, I can use a quick attack. Quick attack. Nice. Uh, okay. Uh, I and uh, no, I'll, I'll just uh, he'll he'll just write it out. It'll just write it out. Alright, uh, we'll do... Oh, I can use Roost, actually. Did that work? Did I go first? I did! Nice. Pidgeotto is a quick Pokemon, though, so it makes sense. So, store a bunch of... Moonblast?! Oh, it's a Fairy-type move. What?! Oh, man, that hurt a lot, actually. Uh, okay. Pikachu... You know what? No, hold on. I'll toss out a Kadabra here. Kind of worrisome here. <laughs> uh, fight. Oh, I, I think Vileplume is a poison type as well, so I, I think Psychic might be strong against poison. It is! Okay, good. Uh, that should... <laughs> Dang. That, uh... That did not go as planned. <laughs> Okay, we'll we'll use Pikachu, I guess, and hope for the best. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, we'll do. Oh, we'll try Thunder, I guess. Okay, well that's good. It's not gonna do that much damage, you know. Oh no. Oh man, I might lose. I might lose. I actually might lose. This is uh, this is not ideal. This is not ideal at all. Uh, oof. uh, I'll uh, I guess revive. <laughs> no, but oh man, I can't. But I'm the main character. I can't lose. Oh no. Boy, if there was a time for Pikachu's special move to come out, this would be that time. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that does so much damage. Yeesh. Uh, uh. Well, Thunderbolt's not going to do more damage than Thunder is, but... It's, that Mega Drain does so much damage. Oh, no, this is the end. This is the end. My War Turtle is going to go down, and I'm going to have to restart. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, I mean, that's okay. It's it's part of the Pokemon games. You know, you, 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 your Pokemon faint, and then you you, you respawn. You know, it, it, it's okay. It's just, it's just a part of the game. And you know what? This is the first time I've lost. So I guess now we get a chance to see what it looks like when you get a... I mean, not a, not, not a game over, but, you know. Uh, thousand, 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 sorry. Oh, man. Oh, that hurts.
You hurry through the Pokemon Center with your tired Pokemon. Oof. First, let's restore your Pokemon to full health. Yes, please. That would be very nice. Oh, you know what? It occurs to me that there was something that I could have done uh, before I actually went in the, into the gym. Uh, and I'm sure I'll see him just to the right here. <sighs> that would really have helped. Yep, there he is. This guy will teach my, my Pikachu another move. Yes, I would love that. Let's do Floaty Fall. Yes. I will remove Zippy Zap. And a flying type move, a strong flying type move, no doubt, uh, no less, will do a lot of damage to those grass types. Okay, I'm so sorry about that, everybody. We're gonna we're gonna leave the Pokemon Center and then I'll fast forward to the point where I'm back at Erica. Okay, we're back. We're here for a rematch, Erica. Oh man, I have to listen to this again. Right, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this. We've already seen this all, haven't we, everybody? Yep, we have. Can't ignore the fact that I I, I died. <laughs> all right, round two, Erica. You have a Tangela. Well, I brought a new Pokemon to the party, an Alolan Sandshrew. Now, ice types are strong against grass types because uh, permafrost, I guess. Sweet. <laughs> That's a good way to start it, I guess. Okay. Not not exactly as as good as I was kind of hoping for, but okay. <laughs> uh, I'll use an awakening. Unless my Sandshrew wakes up. Don't be fast asleep. Uh, all right. Anything to make this last even longer, huh, Erica? Uh, use awakening. Yes. Go. Now you're gonna use a Mega Drain on me, of course. But it. Okay. I mean, uh, good, I guess. But that's still like. All right. <laughs> well, uh, what does this do again? Oh, you should move the counters any special attack I'm looking. Duh, I should have done that. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna go with this. Alright, okay then. <laughs> just just instantly, okay. Mega Drain is very OP. I mean, okay, admittedly, I'm a little under leveled for this. It is supposed to be a bit of a challenge, I guess, but still, you know. Okay, switch. And we'll use uh, our trusty Dragon's Rage, or Dragon Rage, because at least we know that that will do a solid 40 damage. So, also I attack. Uh, of course you can use a Mega Drain and do entirely too much damage to me, but that's fine. Okay. Alright, again, we're just going to spam this move for now. Go. Ugh! Come on! With the sleep powder! No, no, no. We'll, 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 we'll use an awakening on him. Uh, awakening, use, yes. Okay, woke up. Of course. We'll use another Dragon Rage and not do a headbutt this time because that was a bad idea. Ah, oh, so close. Come on! Stop it with this! Oh, it's maddening. Right, you know what? I'm gonna hold on to Charmander. Uh, uh, Charmeleon, sorry. I'll, uh, I'll switch out for Pidgeotto. I'll switch out for Pidgeotto. So why not? Oh, actually, no. No, you fool. Oh, you fool. Mega Drain is probably gonna just end my Pidgeotto. Come on. Oh, thank God. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's fine. I just, I, I just recall it doing a lot more damage before. There's a wing attack. Boom. There we go. Tangle it down. Uh, and now we've got to deal with a Weeping Bell. Um, okay. Uh, oh, Vile Bloom right away, huh? All right, fine, fine, fine. I'll bring out my secret weapon. Pikachu. Armed with a brand new move. Okay, 
fight. And here we go, everybody. Bloody Fall. You ready for this? <laughs> I love that battle cry that Pikachu does. It's so good. Why does it do so much damage, though? Man. Oh, yes. You did it, Pikachu. You did it. Now a floaty fall will indeed take care of this. Okay. Everything is okay. Floaty ball. Beat the bile plume. Yeah. And then we'll switch out to Charmeleon. No. To something else. To Kadabra. And we'll uh, uh, heal up Pikachu and then bring him out, or bring her out again, and then uh, use Floaty Fall again. <laughs> okay, let's go. So sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, I will switch. Gabra. And hey, if for some reason I'm able to actually get an attack out with uh, with Kadabra, then at least I know that. Uh, actually, I don't know that it's like. Oh no, wait, Psychic is good against Grass, isn't it? For some reason. Does anybody know why that is? Because uh, a lot of a lot of type weaknesses have like uh, idioms attached to them. You know, like uh, mind over matter for psychic being strong against fighting types, or uh, the fact that uh, psychic's weaknesses are often associated with um, with uh, basic fears that people tend to have. You know, like uh, dark and bug and uh, ghosts, things like that. You know, I do wonder. Wow. It just, it does so much damage. It's shocking to me. Anyway, okay, so we'll bring out Pikachu and we'll do the floaty fall thing again. And hopefully the Weeping Bell will not use that poison jab attack. Okay, good. I got the first hit in. I probably won't uh, do it in one shot, but still. Oh, I did. All right, even better. Awesome. Okay, cool. That's it, guys. We beat her. Oh, it only took two rounds, didn't it? Growlithe grew, to, Growlithe grew to level 22. Beat Erica. Oh, I concede defeat. You are remarkably strong. Yes, I am. What you got? I must confer on you a rainbow badge. Yes, you must. And high five. Yes, so good. Got a rainbow badge from Erica. A rainbow badge raises the level of Pokemon willing to listen to you to level 50 for Pokemon that you have received from other trainers. And here, if you'd like, please also take this with you. Is it Mega Drain? I don't want it. Get rid of it. It's angered me entirely too much. I'm going to throw it on the ground at your feet. Erica, half the damage it inflicts is drained from the target to heal your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree that it's a wonderful move? I really would disagree, but that's fine. What you got, Pikachu? Oh, look at that little Diglin at It's so cute. Pikachu's happy over the win. Good. All right. <laughs> Practically petting the Diglett. But all right, that's it. That's it, everybody. We finally did it. After two rounds, it finally happened. And uh, this is our victory walk here. But anyway, um, so thanks again for joining us. Uh, re I'm really glad that you guys were able to make it. Uh, and uh, hopefully you'll be here for the next one, too. So uh, don't forget, subscribe to The Gamer if you enjoyed this. Give this video a like if you actually did enjoy this video, because again, the more likes we get, the more we realize that you guys actually do this, do like this kind of content, so we can bring more of it to you. So with that, everybody, uh, we will see you next time. Bye bye.